All right, here's the top five. Welterweight contender Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become in one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft and you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exactly where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. Still undefeated, here is Hamzat Shimaya making the walk tonight as a middleweight. A lot of people think eventually he's gonna be a UFC champion and he's got a big fight in front of him tonight. I mean, this guy's a monster, you know, from his mindset to the way that he competes. Hamzat Shimaya is one of those guys that passes the eye test. The moment you lay eyes on him, you said this kid has something special about him. He has great wrestling, he has great striking, he has great cardio, the guy has it all. And I'm so excited to once again watch him compete and sit here in his seat and call his fight. The work ethic has never been an issue, perhaps the diet at times when it comes to getting down to 170 pounds, but this man is a problem and ready to impose his will here tonight. Kamzat Shumai, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC Welterweight Champion of the World, Hamzat Bosch Chibaya! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. This man has been a force really ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. Muhammad's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Down into his mouth. He's got to be careful here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Shumayev's in half guard now. Getting the ball here. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. A 
Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. This is where he wants to see. Oh, nice elbow. Grounded pound strike here. Mm, that was nice. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Nice shot there by the champ. She might have in half court. Now he's going full mount. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, here, final seconds of round one. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, take a seat, bud. Great round. Listen to me. Breathe. Deep breath into that nose. Out to that mouth. All right, perfect round. I need you to go out there. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his grounding pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that grounding pound Great. sequence. All right, round two. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first. So an opportunity to get He's hurt bad. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Muhammad going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Massive shot from the top. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Bilal Muhammad. Yep, got to be very careful there. We march on three minutes to go. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Oh, the ground and pound is there. White setting up for an on ball now. Got that submission locked up very tight. Shimaev's back in full now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. He passes the half guard. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. Round two. Great ground and pound by this man. Ten minutes in the books. All right, 
right there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling seat. himself. And look at his really coaches. They're all celebrating because they know be that right if they stay the course, if they do the exact same it. thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Throwing that jab, no good. Able to land there with the straight left. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. Big toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him up, finish the fight. Oh, he gets out. He was able to get his momentum going back towards his opponent, then back in the opposite direction to get his hips back and his chest down towards the mat. And you just spilled your popcorn all over I the broadcast. I did, John. You know I love popcorn. <laughs> Wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done in the half guard. You sit back on that leg. You press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. A oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Let's go. 30 seconds to go in this one. You need to fight now. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Hamza Chimaya. Uh, All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship uh, rounds. All right, sit down. Give me that mouth, please. Breathe and relax. You're doing great, dude. That was awesome, okay? You almost had that triangle. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's out. The energy is crazy because you understand.
understands that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Working out of the half guard here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Muhammad. Another ground and pound strike lands. Under a minute to go in the round. All right, side control now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Bilal Muhammad. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Buzzer sounds for the end of round for 20 minutes in the books. All right, buddy, take a seat. Breathe and relax. I need you to suck it up this time, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You can see them coming a mile away. You ready to fight? You ready? Go it on. is the fifth and final round. His opponent stayed up I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Look for him to throw that over right here again. Holy smokes. The crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. Submission. Look pretty tight to me. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Muhammad. Three minutes now to go in this one. Slick transition. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. 
absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the day. Side control. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the ref. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down in the corner. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Time winding down. Final seconds of the fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here. All out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. We'll Ladies see how the judges saw it. Here rounds, is Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 39-46. For the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Bors Kibana. All right, so the Chechen Swede, Hamzat Shimaev, your winner by decision. You heard it there from Bruce Buffer. More often than not, he doesn't need to hear those judges.